that when you look at somebody, see yourself. And I guarantee you that I carried every woman in this state on my shoulders, but I made a promise to God that I would not let him nor them down. I didn't just come out of prison. I came out of prison with honors. I am now the account executive for three major radio stations, Power 92, Soul 106, and WYC. But to let you know, it can be done. But yes. where where this whole state was my enemy that I had to stare every day and fight as my Goliath. Guess what? David used one stone to take, take him down. Yes, did. Guess what? I used one appeal to go all the way through the Supreme Court and make them turn this thing around. Come on, sir. in a different uniform, mm -hmm. at a different time, mm -hmm. in a different season, with a different fight. Yeah. But when I wore those shackles, I still, let, let me give you an example. <laughs> they used to call me the dead woman walking. Mm -hmm. They used to write on top of my food container, condemned. Mm -hmm. I lived alone for years without even ever being around a human being. But in that silence, rather than losing my mind, I anchored myself to God. Ask Him to make me what you want me to be. And send me on that journey because I will not let you down. And in doing that, when I heard a woman say one day, they treat that lady like a dog by putting up all the, the, the iron shackles on me. I sent home and asked my sisters when I got a three year box to put. Three inch heels, as many pairs she could, because I wore those shackles in three inch heels. For one reason, my soul belonged to God. Come on, right? Come on, right? Come on right? My spirit was too big for anything to hold captive in captivity, but my dignity belongs to me. I can say to every woman that comes through this house, I did not go into prison and stay 19 years to become a homosexual. I did not go into prison to stay 19 years to become out broken and battered. I did not go into that prison to come out something worse than what I was when I was determined and I set my eyes on the prize to say I must be a better woman. And a better woman I am today. Right. And guess what? I'm not better because I went to prison. But better because the hardship could not touch what God had created me to be. Come on, girl. Hear me, ladies in this house. This is my sister. We hold you accountable for the goods and everything that we supply to you. Even the good counseling that you get. We are not a joke. What this thing has did to our people is ugly. And we will not keep sitting back in the back of the bus pretending like it's not there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And I can say to every man in this house, if you don't become the man to lead us, then you step aside. Come on, girl. Yeah. Keep going. Come on! Come on. Come on.